so there's there's start rails there's milky way capturing there's a lot to do let's start with long exposure photography any specific tips you have for people trying to get better there is of course the basics of exposure but beyond that Firstly, I say people don't rush into uh, any of the la- Milky Way. I want to see chase the stars, and I want to take the Milky Way. See the location, see the season. Do ND field filters help in an area with light pollution? So I recommend where the light pollution is quite high, use ND filters. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Individual, the podcast and well, video cast, where we talk to some of India's best photographers, videographers, and discuss the art and the business of. Photography and videography in India. Today we have with us someone who specialized in landscape photography for many many years, Mr. T M Aditya. Hi, Aditya, how are you? Yeah, hi. Uh, this is T M Aditya Shravan. I'm a versatile travel photographer and also a nature enthusiast. Where I love to travel a lot uh, to each and every place and explore new things in the market. And also, I have a collection of cameras and also I have a collection of gadgets where I want to do many things in. Uh, landscape photography and everything gear acquisition syndrome yeah also that is also we can say that also we can say i've gone through many years but sometimes i get bored and i feel like buying a new lens <laughs> see the thing is of course upgrading gadgets is something it it feels painful but once you upgrade and once you use the feel is different that's the different thing oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so tell us you've done a lot of landscape photography night photography etc what's your favorite place in india see uh, according to many people say that see they consider with the states and they go but uh, as i have seen till date uh, my place in my in karnataka i am from as i am from karnataka where i want to represent uh, some of the location which is called kudriyamukha so where i can say it's a vast location in chikmagaluru for hmm. uh, beautiful landscape photography amazing yeah. Well, that's very cool. I've been to Chikmagalur once many, many years ago. I don't even remember. Uh, no, no. It comes only under Chikmagalur district. That's the main thing. So it's but not in this different. Uh, from Chikmagalur also, it is uh, around 125 kilometers away from Chikmagalur. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is this close to the Kerala border side? I don't know. Karnataka no, 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 no. Not the Kerala border. This is nearby to, uh, where you say, Karkala. Have you heard about Dharmasthala or Karkala? You will be known yes, about Yes, it. yes, yes. Yeah. So that is Kukke, Subramanya and everything. This is all well connected with to the nearby to coastal region where the western guard ends and the coastal region starts. Oh, that sounds amazing. That's the so do you end up going there very often? How, or yeah, almost like, like uh, uh, coming back to the point, uh, almost I can say in, um, uh, how how can I say, that? at least two to three months, once I'll be visiting these places. Two to three months. So then you must know the place inside. Yeah, how yeah, important yeah. is it when you do landscape photography? Mm-hmm. How much does it help to go back again and again? Like, do you learn something new every time? Do you figure this is a better location? No, no, no. Every season, every moment, every time it changes. See, we people say autumn, uh, foreign countries, they'll show everywhere. They'll show that the leaves are getting down and shedding down and everything. Everything yeah. you can witness here also, the same things. But uh, main perspective is in Western Ghats, if the leaves shed also, the greenery will be the green only from the top if you view. If you view from the top, the top view will be evergreen. So only we call Western Ghats as a specialized, uh, special place on earth. Especially we treat that. Well, that's amazing. So tell us more. So when you do landscape photography, what kind of landscape photography do you end up doing? Do you do night photography? like or Mainly composition matters a lot for us. See, sometimes I choose mountains and hills and sometimes grasslands and... Uh, huge kind of seashores with landscape and uh, seashore with an uh, amazing bg of uh, sunset so one one time one one things will go that's the main uh, purpose of landscape landscape is not not defined in any of these languages sometimes we will show the landscape with cityscape so how it varies so it will be around 20 30 kilometers away from city so we can show the city through landscape photography that's the, that's also there from a distance, absolutely. As as uh, just as one, the city is only one part of the whole scene, rather yeah. than just taking over the photo itself. According to my knowledge, as I as I, as I have researched and as I have seen, see every landscape photographer loves to go with only nature. Every landscape photographer loves to go only with nature, ninety yeah. percent of the people. But in the ten percent where I have seen, 
some people will choose astro and some people will choose uh, the nightscape with landscape and some people will choose with sunset with landscape and some people with sunrise with landscape so that is what the combination you need to try and try and try again to get betterment results and how do you figure your style how do you figure like just practice and practice and practice or did you start out no this is what i want to do no 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 see versatile travel photographer as i want to introduce as a versatile travel photographer only see various kind of lenses i use i various kind of uh, equipments i use because of only one thing not only landscape i am concentrating i am concentrating on portraits i am concentrating on uh, 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 this one uh, wildlife and all these streams just i want to see astro wildlife macro so every field not macro means i am not into depth of macro but mm. a small part of macro i'll be looking into it so what 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 are you trying to do these days what are you trying to shoot these days what kind as from some time i am not able to move out of my home because of these uh, some of my issues i couldn't move out but of course i am planning for some of the big projects like karnataka vaibhava where i want to showcase the western ghats uh, uh, mainland culture how it goes with uh, uh, the sea how it go with the coastal line because many people would have shot uh, chick mean many places chikmagalur many places they would have shot uh, and no one has shown the coastal line properly exact coastal line how it goes and what and all the precautionary measures to be taken on the coastal line while traveling i need to show people please be a responsible traveler also equally when you are traveling or else when you are a photographer please be a responsible traveler also i want to just say about us fair enough fair enough so i want to ask a few questions about night photography sure 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 definitely so there's there's star trails there's milky way capturing there's a lot to do let's start with long exposure photography okay any specific tips you have for people trying to get better there is of course the basics of exposure but beyond that see my kind of photography starts with cityscapes first Firstly, I say people don't rush into uh, any of the la Milky Way. I want to see chase the stars, and I want to take the Milky Way. See the location, see the season. See every day the star star moments are different. Every day the star moments goes different. And whenever you like to see stars, it's not quite easy to. Uh, it's not available daily because of the clouds whatever the weather forecast and weather conditions you need to check out everything and you need to work on it and you need to move on so i say daily you observe the pattern of stars how it moves so we have an app called star trails app we have you can check with that and uh, some of the people will use some premier apps like photofills so where it will be exactly showing at what time this uh, moon rises and what time uh, you need to go out and take milky way shots and everything you can take you can adjust and some of these softwares are there for phone photographers who are urging towards it also uh, it supports long trails and uh, some of the shots if whatever the uh, compulsion shots may, where uh, a dslr cannot can perform the same shots can be performed in uh, your smartphones also yeah yeah so that's an interesting one so you say smart but do they have the capability to take good night shots yeah obviously many, many see many say but uh, i am not about ios i am not describing only uh, not about ios because i don't know much about ios here hmm. i am accepting uh especially android users who are there and they are using their pro photo pro cameras in behind uh, everyone every phone has a pro camera except some of the world world phones doesn't have the pro camera but now with all 2020 plus cameras 2020 plus phones uh, have the pro pro mode in it so they can use at least for 10 seconds they have given 10 seconds negative where it shoots uh, at least stars or milky way milky way is more than enough for 10 seconds more than enough to shoot 10 yeah. seconds so yeah if if there's no light pollution around anyhow yeah 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 light pollution matters a lot that yeah happens. so that's a that's a problem in north india that i've seen it's very hard to find a dark sky no but the thing is uh, you need to have the websites you have websites to check with that yeah uh, some of the websites like uh, night skies or else you can google it do they have indian information yeah 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 everywhere you will get the information because see uh, what the star pattern goes and what the things happen there 
uh, when the meteor falls, everything, every description is given by them. So the thing is, you need to have patience to see that with your vision. You need to have only one vision to see the stars. That's the one thing. And one more thing is you need to camp for, especially if you're taking a star trail, you need to camp for other location where uh, you have uh, no light pollution also. And good facility for your camera charge also. That also matters a lot. People, <laughs> they'll come and say, complain that, see, my charge has gone. I couldn't record full stars and all. They, they say, but we people will uh, plan for uh, the power bank and everything, power backup, power bank and everything. And then we will go there and we'll uh, take the star shots. What's your, uh, the one photo that you're most proud of? Probably I can say wildlife uh, was my passion and wildlife is my first love. So where I can represent wildlife was something good. I, and uh, there also I have made many of the frames and I have done a number of my works in that. The thing is uh, racket tail drongo. I just shot a rock, racket tail drongo in Western Ghats where uh, it took a sensational, it was a sensational shot and it made my uh, uh, entire career into, a, it gave a turning point to my career. In what way? Uh, in recognition and also in case of uh, getting featured on many platforms and many places and many magazines, two, three magazines, some of the repeated, uh, repeated magazines and all. And basically, I'm an article writer too for uh, Cebu's Wildlife magazine. Oh, yeah. So that ties in. That ties in. So b because this is a question a lot of landscape photographers have huh. very commonly. It's very hard to make a, like to turn landscape photography into a career. See, yes, of course, I, I too totally agree to this point because uh, landscape equipments is only so costly. First thing, hmm. while investing, you need to have a proper job and they say nine to five job. I have my, I want to build my career in this and I want to do. Yes, you people can do. Don't purchase two expensive cameras in your hand. Yeah. Initially, go with normal cams or else normal phones. Invest on phone, which you, which is good in market. Check out which can make uh, good photographs. And you have external lenses for all kind of uh, mobiles now. We have external lenses which cuts the uh, light. ND filters. We call it as ND filters. So that you can use that ND filters and you can make uh, some of the good images and good photographs of, out of it. So don't go more much. Don't invest much on uh, cameras now. When you are go getting a shot and you are not satisfied with cam, phone cam and uh, no, no, I wear somewhere I want to upgrade means then you start thinking of the uh, mirrorless or else DSLR. This is actually very important advice mm -hmm. that I got from a friend once that only upgrade when you know why you need to upgrade. That's perfect thing who has said because without knowing upgradation doesn't work anywhere and if you are more enough and if you're tired of this camera then you go for other camera yeah but don't don't be like us the gear acquisition syndrome thing just because you're bored you're buying something new no why so for example when i upgraded my camera this huh. time huh. i knew that i needed faster huh. animal eye autofocus uh -huh. very clear he i am spending a lot of money on a new camera uh -huh. this is i need really really fast autofocus and i need animal eye autofocus to work in continuous mode. Okay, okay. that was my specific reason to upgrade okay. now the lens that i'm again going to buy for a second time because it does one is to one macro and is like the oh, sharpest okay. lens i've ever seen oh okay. have a clear reason so then this was i think the best advice i've gotten for gear not project. like exactly the thing that's the one thing i give suggestion for youngsters don't invest more and more on anything first and also there is also the time versus effort slash money balance that you have to strike like when i was in college i had a lot of time but not much, but no money so i'm happy to you know take 200 photos 300 photos because i wasn't doing photography in college I was doing yeah, music. Yeah. but yeah so if i have time i'm happy to save money and spend and take a lot of photos mm -hmm. now time is at a premium so i would rather than think about it and invest in a good lens that i know or a good camera Okay. That I know my keeper rate is higher. I know I won't be losing photos. I know that I'll capture those moments in the first attempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that time versus money thing is a very important one. That that makes sense because see, as I say, uh, time flies and everything we say, uh, we, we need to change for the time to time. 
we need to change we need to upgrade when we when we are eligible for that yeah we need to know that i am i am okay i am doing good for this and i am okay i am ready to uh, uh, take the challenge and consequences whatever it may be and i have the bank balance behind me or else uh, i have the courage to go this this should be our mindset then only you people go and upgrade everywhere or else don't go and don't upgrade and don't fell into the big uh, yeah, yeah. And if you're starting, and absolutely, if you're starting, so for example, so as they are saying, uh, today's phones are good enough. Yeah. To do a lot, but if you want to get into like get a proper camera, then even a Fuji XT hundred is actually a great start. With the the fifteen to forty five, yeah, the yeah. kit lens that comes with it, yeah. which I'm, I'm I'm guessing you can happily get a good condition thing on OLX if you. Uh, why? No, not only OLX. You can go to the camera stores and you can approach. Yeah, they yeah, have the second hand, uh, second hand cameras which they get to mm -hmm. their uh, stores and you can request them. Whoever the dealer is, they'll make sure they'll they'll give you. But while taking up second hand cameras for learning purpose, that is fine. But when you yeah. are investing for your creative journey or else creator's journey, I suggest them to go with the new one only. But I would add, do that once you know. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the, the thing is, start when you me. are into the fixed mindset of yes, I can take that shots and I am ready to do a number of things and I can focus and I make yeah. a career in this, then you go on to that. I because think. because there are also see there's more there, there's so many different camera models. Huh. There's no one best. Like let's say I, I want to spend two lakh rupees on a camera. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's say yeah, there are still so many models. Which yeah. one? Right, and each one will be solving a different uh, problem. This, this, this is the a market. biggest matter in entire uh, this one now. It's being so much of uh, because mirrorless has dominated in every brand now. Yeah. So one says go for Sony, and one says go for uh, uh, Fiji Film, or one say go for Canon. Go on. Whatever your requirement is, take for rental purpose. Take for rental purpose. It's all available for rents now. Now yeah. it's available because in long old days the rent was also not there. There was no rent in 27, 2016s because no much renting uh, option was there for us because there was no mirrorless. That used to be our uh, main problem in 2016s or 2015s. There was no renting option more, but now yeah. you have more options. First you rent, you check out, and then you go for a brand. That that's that's what I can say. The people. Who are absolutely, right. absolutely agree. The point being the same that when you're just starting out, don't spend too much money. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save your worry. money. Think about it and uh, test yeah. around. If you have a friend, you know, go out with them, learn something. Once you know better, once you know that you're willing to, that you actually do enjoy the hobby. Personally. Yeah, yeah. There is only the yeah. work uh, where you start loving your work. Then only you can enjoy. That's the main thing I can say here. Exactly. So, so now coming back to time lapse, time lapse photography. Yeah. Like my favorite photo that I've ever taken was uh, time lapse and just lots of star photography from above Everest base camp. Oh, Everest base camp. At 4 a.m. Yeah. in minus 21 degree weather, yeah. three batteries because they just kept freezing and like tiny. Yeah, yeah, batteries will go drained. I know well about it. And uh, yeah, for me, for me, the. I can't take that context out. Okay, one is of course there's like millions of stars in the sky in the photos, but also the fact that I put in that effort and I got somewhere is part of the reward of seeing that photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just the quality of that photo. It is you know the memories that I associate. Yeah, with yeah, it. memories forever that will be there in our everyone. And uh, coming back to the point, uh, time lapse matters a lot. See, way back. Around in 2015s or 2016s, when I started my career, it was 2015, I can say. From there, I'll talk. So, the time lapse was only in GoPros, and I hope you'll be knowing the GoPro yeah. was some of the uh, the best thing where one, one who has GoPro means he would be seen like somewhere king. That would be something great. Uh, I can say that. After some years, it started with phone. In phone only, they started with time lapse mode and everything. After three to four years, it started in time lapse mode in phone and everything. They start improving and everything they gave. And now we have a phone which is beautiful. And we can't even compare a phone and GoPro next to next. We, can, we can't keep and frame to frame. We can't even match. That's the problem of us now. Because phone can do more better than GoPro. And GoPro is lagging, I hope. I, I hope. Because... 
they have actually they have not taken the technology more i hope in front of phones because phone people want to serve all uh, whole uh, country or else whole world especially for photographers videographers it's so easy to take in phone because we will be having in pocket every time we'll be having in pocket so it will serve the purpose right than gopro every time switching on the gopro and switching off the gopro it will be quite tough for general people no, normally i'm saying whoever goes as a normal tourist but yeah. not for the photographers to take if you ask a photographer what is your perfect uh, thing to take time lapse i choose a photographer will be like crazy how he chooses his i want uh, f uh, sorry i want a 16 mm lens which is 1.4 or 1.2 f uh, f aperture <laughs> and one more thing is he'll be shooting in only mirrorless camera that to full frame camera which has this much of speed card and everything he'll give this much big options yeah. and uh, normal uh, tourist people def definitely they don't regret that. because they want a time lapse they want a time lapse that's it because they don't have more time to shoot yeah that's what the thing over here no, absolutely that's an end up like so many times i'll have my camera with me but i'm still taking photos with my phone it is right there because sometimes phone will serve the purpose i'm saying you this yeah yeah, yeah absolutely because if i want to do hyper lapse there's no way i'm going to use my camera unless i have uh, planned it in advance unless that, i have so much that time. also when you come coming back to the point when you are having more patience yeah not not time i'm saying not about the time more patience when you have more patience then you can use the photo mode and you can stack and you can come and stack in your laptop or else system those photographs or else those videos into and, and ask ask it to convert to video photos to video and video to that video format can be converted into 4k or else 1080p whatever you want the resolution you can keep it actually yeah, it just makes sense really really spending time and studying phone camera capabilities these days yeah, yeah there are more actually you know many people won't even check out their uh, camera book which they have given their information and regulations whatever the things have been done and what kind of modes they have given they don't even check about that many people do the same mistake they'll go and they'll want to take capture they want to capture 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 that's it they don't want to explore any of these things see basically people want blurry background if i ask my friends some of my friends are there what's the purpose of you took camera there if i ask hey i want a dslr which makes sense my portrait should come with a blurry background that's it but that's great because that's an easy problem to solve get a 51.8 and you're sorted uh, no no you don't know just the thing that uh, a blurry background i require that's it now hmm. the phone is serving the purpose with the portrait mode so they'll purchase an expensive phone which is available in the market and they'll come and they'll say that yes i am happy with this no dslr yeah. can perform in front of this they say and uh, as the thing is dslrs and all it's all manual things we do and we set and precisely we work on it and we'll take the capture we'll we, we capture the photograph but these people how they do is just one click like this they'll take selfie and they say that Hey man, your uh, camera is not so good, okay? Because the lighting and all, it's not right. Because these cameras or these uh, phone cameras, what we'll be having, they use the chip, which is so good, and they'll make it more and uh, they write softwares for uh, for it, and it is automatically everything is done. Shutter speed, ah, uh, yes, word, everything will be automatically taken. When many people doesn't know this, they'll go and they don't even check the details. whatever yeah. they take whenever they take they don't check the details uh, whatever when, when you go for time lapse of so at what fps it has shot no one knows if you ask them hey i just kept for time lapse it was good that's it or else i just kept for slow motion it was good why it was good what settings it was just check with your camera if i say where it will be everyone ask me where it will be but which is fine one is ki i want great photos period i will take I am done. This is not my interest. I just want great photos. One is I want to learn more. I want to become a better photographer. Mm, yeah, the two I would say happily different things. Yeah, but like, the thing is, uh, every time the purpose will serve. But sometimes we will rock because we are a professional. Yeah. We are leading professional. Will rock because we know what kind of settings will be there with us. Yeah, yeah. The, they ask us, 
why I, it's getting so evening and I am not getting my shots are so grainy and your shots are so super. How is it possible? They ask us, and we say it's all because of our efforts which we have put in this field for these yeah. years. That's true. You'll be like. On the phone, if you aren't really getting into the settings, you'll hit a threshold. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. That's true. So now, yeah, coming back to the how to get much, much, much better at doing long exposure photography, at doing star trails. Let's talk about star trails. Star trails. Okay. See, star trails. First, I said you, as I said, choose a location where light pollution will be zero. And yeah. uh, the clouds must be properly set. The clouds should not be there. More clouds. And see, check the weather forecast. You will get to know 100% about it. And go with the Photofills app. So whatever I have recommended. Photofills app or else Star Trails app or else Star, uh, Star, this one, recognition app. Many apps are there for stars. Uh, check out with that. And check the Milky Way positioning. So there is a Milky Way positioning where it comes and what time it will raise. So you can check in advance only on the daytime only you can check and you can go plan for that night or else whatever it may be as as their uh, what convenience check with the weather first and then you can decide everything because weather won't be consistent for everyone yeah agreed that's what the thing and star trails has some of the settings and uh, we people usually as a photographer in phone if i want to take star trails uh, so how long I can take is just 30 seconds, many people say. No, that is wrong. In phone applications, uh, in phone camera, whatever the stock camera is, yes, 30 seconds is more than enough. That That's only enough people say. But according to my knowledge, as I have seen, as I have researched till date, Intervoltameter, Intervoltameter is the one of the app which helps everyone to get more timing. And it's so cheap on uh this one uh, play store which is 120 or 130 rupees it costs you nice for lifetime subscription lifetime you will get for lifetime mm. and you can take and you can handle it you can download it on other device also and you can pay the same amount for pro version pro version they'll ask you like 30 40 rupees extra for payment so you can pay and you can get it and then there are the settings which you can do for three three seconds or five five seconds where you, you need to give break and then you need to shoot the stars so there the star moment will be like this so overall you will get the star trails like this whatever it may be and if you need full star trails you need to start at seven o'clock seven p.m in the evening and you need to end at four four a.m in the morning now there it comes a lot of challenging task for us and that Many people, some some photographers are there. They can they say that we'll stack and stack and stack more more on stacking. They'll relay. So one time stacking is fine, and two time two times stacking is fine. Three times, four times, they again and again the stacked picture only. If you stack, that will be worst actually, and the stars will be so clumsy. It will be next to next, next to next. There will be no layer pattern. There will be only normal one pattern, and they say that they'll get to know that it's so easy. It's so easy and. Uh, it will run out of many things. I I hope you'll be knowing about that. Yeah, I've tried a couple of softwares. I could just I've never been able to do a star trail successfully. Ha ha. Successful so, was the successful rate is so low because of uh, our phone battery also. Uh, no no not only our phone battery. Whatever we have, we are using DSLR yeah. battery and whatever battery it is, we are low about that. So only it will be quite tough for everyone. Everyone. But also. Everyone keep in mind, as Ritya was saying, check the weather, check the weather. When you're planning your trip, check the weather. I, the I've been in situations where I've taken my tripod, taken my camera, taken an ultra wide angle and clouds, clouds, clouds everywhere. And so, one more thing is best time to travel is from October end to March end. That's it. That is good time. April and May, I hope you'll be knowing everywhere. The couples will be crowded. 90% of the time you can't get the shots. And... Uh, Many, many people, landscape people will face a lot of issues, landscape photographers especially. We face a yeah. lot of issues because the place won't be clean and neat and as we think it won't be available. That's the problem. But if you take now also, it's not available as, as we think. But still, at least you will get some free time. You can take some some shots in the free yeah. time. That's what we think. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you plan? What, what do you plan in terms of equipment and what else so one is weather obviously you have to check yeah 
So equipment wise, let's say we come to the camera now. Hmm. You're taking star trails and long exposures with the camera on the trip. What all do you need to pack beyond the camera tripod lenses? Camera, I recommend camera with uh, one. Uh, your phone should be also fully charged because your phone will be your remote control for cameras now. Nowadays, everything is yeah. going on application, running on application. Way back, if you go with uh, around five six years back, you used to have we used to have this uh, intervalometer. In, uh, Interval meter, yeah, interval meter, and also that used to get connected with uh, our cameras, and we used to set that, and we used to keep it, and we used to arms se, we used to run arms se. But now, by the way, so if, if someone is buying a second-hand camera to or uh, an old camera to start at a you know on a budget, an intervalometer is still something you can buy very very cheaply. I think with like a thousand. Yeah, it will be like thousand bucks. Hmm. So you don't actually need a new phone, which is Wi-Fi connect or a new camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing is, that is good. Everything with that. No, interval meter will be good. Actually, actually, it will be good. But some of the interval meters, what happens? You know, you need to put some gum or tape on it, and you need to hold pressure on it, and these things will happen. You know, and uh, there also the premium interval meters will be uh, too costly. Likewise, it will be like eight thousand, ten thousand. Wow. Many people will say that oh. Why should I spend on this god? And yeah. many people doesn't yeah. know about uh, ND filters which come for night photography. Also, mm. many people use night ND filters. So I recommend where the light pollution is quite high, use ND filters, or else don't use any kind of any ND filter. Just shoot in a raw location, raw fire with the raw life. How you get, however your uh, action speaks, so you do that and come out, and then you start with the uh, processing. Processing of uh, images. But do do ND fil filters help in an area with light pollution? Yeah, like yeah. Will you still light pollution will at least get quite down. You see, in intro interval meters, what you can do is you can go with the bulb mode also. The bulb yeah. mode will help you in one shot, clicking one shot, which is which you can click for three three minutes or five minutes or ten minutes or fifteen minutes. You can click, and the processing time also it will take around that. That much of minutes only. Equally, yeah. equally, I'll say. Yeah, that will be the thing. When you are going for bulb mode shots, bulb mode shots are like, uh, I recommend them to go with uh, just 10, 10 minutes is more than enough. Not even ten minutes, just three minutes is more than enough for people who want actually. You know, I want. I'm actually fed up of uh, clicking more pictures. I don't want bulky pictures for my shots. Just start, stars. Just it should move like this. In Himachal Pradesh, stars and all, it will move like beautiful. It will move beautifully. But when you come back with the stars or when you come back with the shots, when you see, why it's blurry? Hmm. That will be there. For 30, 30 seconds, if you clip interval or so, it will be blurry. Because of only one thing, a sturdy tripod is also more important when you go for hilly region. Because yeah. that will be a main, main thing. Where you are investing cameras lakhs together and you are not spending thousands of rupees on your tripod means yeah. the wind can affect your camera, photographs, and everything. This is what I can say. To and you. lenses can get heavy. Some yeah. lenses, especially if you're doing wildlife, some lenses can get very heavy. So don't buy a 700 rupee. Ah, tripod. no, no, yes. not only <laughs> 700 rupees and all that. That actually, what you know, initial days, everyone will be crazy to shoot on that and. Then they realize after, see what happens, uh, when you hang your cameras on 700 rupees tripod with a weight of uh, uh, 5 kilos or 6 kilos, it will come down like this. It will come down like this. So what happens, the lens will be bent like this and moreover you can't lift it also. The lens is quite heavy also and while lifting up it will be quite tough. And not only that lens, when you are using telephoto lenses on any of your camera, any of your cameras that you fixed with these things, it will be quite tough to you. Anyone, anyone it may. I am just recommending not to go for 100, 700, sir. just go with yeah. 5000 because it's a decent amount. 5000 will be the starting amount for cameras. Yeah, there are some good good brands like Manfrotto is a good one. Again, this is uh, not a Manfrotto. Many product. companies are there, but Indian make companies are also there like E Image Tripod, which is good actually. Which is seven k, eight k only. You can get a, a aluminium tripod with sturdy one. You can get it for seven. E Image. Yeah, E Image. E Image. Oh, 
E image. E okay, we'll put a link in the show notes for this one. Sure, sure, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely update the link because yes, E image important. is good uh, tripod where uh, sturdiness. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I can, I'm, all, I will also record some of the things on that only. While uh, I go for seashores, I'll be, rec- uh, I'll be recording my long exposure shots in that only because it is a sturdy tripod where, wherever the wind is. The wind, uh, let it come around 30 kilometers per hour, it can hold the, it can hold the wind. Wow. That will be the one of the best uh, this, the thing. The wind I can't even take out. That's the main thing. And how heavy is it? Huh? Is the tripod itself, is it heavy to carry? Yeah, yeah it's too, I like around uh, 4 k, 2 and half to 3 kgs only the tripod will be. So it's heavy only, quite heavy yeah. side. Yeah. But when you're going to hilly region, you need to have these kind of tripods or else you know, the winds will affect your images. No, I'm asking because I'm flying soon, so I should... No, no, no. If you, are, if you want lightweight, uh, this one, uh, tripods, there are lightweight tripods which is too costly, like 40k, 50k. That like, yes. that, those kind of, we don't have that kind of budgets, okay. Uh, many people will start from the budget photography, right. So, only we are explaining yeah. what in the top, see 7k, 8k, you can get good uh, tripods, like sturdy tripods, that's more than enough. Or else, I'll upgrade to 15,000, my budget is means, then you can go for Manfrotto, which is amazing tripod you have, Manfrotto aluminium tripod, which is good. And I will say, actually, if you have friends coming from abroad, these things are actually, like I bought, I bought a good uh, Manfrotto, Manfrotto tripod for 4K in UK, which was here 9K. So if you have friends coming from abroad, use them well. You can just, you can yeah. say them, but... The thing is, uh, again, coming back to the point, if he's carrying a lot of gadgets, that will be also a biggest deal for him. Uh, and uh, customs will definitely handle him like. So, if, if there are many people who are coming from abroad, like 10 members or 12 members with them. So, that will be yeah. worthy to share everyone and they can bring it. Yeah, be but smart about it, but absolutely, if somebody is coming from abroad, like, see. One, one product, you can get it, not a problem at all. Yeah. The thing is, yes, I totally agree. The pain which we photographers face, I agree to the point which you are saying. Because lenses and all, now the prices here are pretty pretty good. Lenses, even camera bodies, prices here are pretty no, compared. No, 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 no. You no? compare to Dubai or else compare to other countries, here it's quite expensive only. Still, huh? mm. It's quite expensive, but again, coming back to the point, uh, the flight ticket, if you are purchasing and if okay. you are going to there and come back, same price will be uh, managed over here. Also. So it can finance your trip. Look at it that way. It can finance your holiday. <laughs> that thing, if you think about, if you think like that, yes, of course, that will be a worthy trip and uh, you'll be sponsored for yourself and go for going a trip. That that will be also there. Yeah, but lenses and filters and all, I still feel that there's a there's a huge there's a huge price difference. No, actually, what? Oh, sorry, no lenses. I meant like filters and all these. No, no. In the Indian market, we don't have the producers, more producers of these kind of gadgets. Yeah, that's the main problem of us. So if it comes over here only, we can challenge and we can go with that. That's the main thing, because Japan and uh, Korea, both the company, both both places have the companies and they are playing the major role in uh, filters. Where uh, companies K and F, Haida, and uh, uh, somewhere uh, some of the other companies are also there. But Haida and uh, K and F is playing a lot of uh, this one, a lot of things. I'm going to say something that might be controversial these days. I don't know. I miss AliExpress. I used to love AliExpress. Yeah, I agree. But the thing is, but here there are two major market uh, shareholders these are all market share shareholders where these people produce a lot of things which ones uh k and f k and yes, f yeah. as, as i have seen since many years they are ruling in market they are actually compared to haida they are cheaper quite cheaper hmm. and, and have, there's a the friend of mine who has a store in gurgaon bolt clicks uh-huh. they have just launched a brand called 20 fps now i haven't used their products we, we are happy to use our Indian products though. Exactly. I want to support Indian uh, Indian manufacturers. Because we, we too have our Indians to get up get up in the market like these people and let, let them also come and show how beautiful they have done. Well, no, no. Definitely Indian products are also quality. Absolutely. It's good now. Now it's being good uh, as I see. And in fact, even after this, we record this, if you can think of any other good Indian brands, let me know. We'll add it to the show notes. I hope I can just suggest... Uh, 
some sj cam is uh, now they are they have been producing in india only now sj oh. cam has come to india how is the quality like i had an sj cam actually but i many quality. of the vloggers they are going with sj cam sj cam mm. is good for vloggers who are budget based based vloggers or vloggers so it's who a are... gopro type thing right no for, uh, yeah yeah it's a gopro type thing but it it goes with 4k also 4k resolution now they have upgraded to 4k 60 fps which is coming for only 9000 rupees that's a good one that's a good one that's great that's actually price for 4k, 4K 60 no no 4k 30 fps for 9k and mm. uh, you need 60 fps means for 15 or 20k something behind it and dj is the major competitor for these people he is getting yeah. with 25k only is getting all kind of stuff 20k 25k if you are if you are eligible to uh, pay 25k for a gopro means for normal gopro you go with the dji's gopro which is good osmo action as i have seen today till date there is no issue i am using 2019's uh, gopro with me dji action yeah so still date there is no problem in recording or any of these things you know because i was discussing with uh, akshay kanade we were doing an episode ah. he is basically a drone photographer ah, 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 ah. I was discussing with him like we need more Indian companies in the drone market. Like it's a monopoly right now. Yes, yeah, we, full monopoly in drones. We say that see some of the drone companies must come and uh, we need to have our FP uh, FPV drones makers over here. We need yeah. our uh, frequent uh, frequent drone producers for FPVs. Exactly. So that exactly. is what the thing. Okay. Next, uh, nextly, I can say that long exposure will affect. Uh, your investment also if you are investing more and more it will affect your investments because once you get uh, one filter that w- that won't get satisfaction for you people or whoever it may be again it lasts one more filter you purchase and one more other kind of filter. Weird example half with no 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 when you are going for a sunset then you want to take a sunset with a sunburst sunburst image we will call that star yeah. kind of thing will come into sun right so we call it as sunburst sunburst when you are taking when sunset is happening with the bulb mode so what happens this will completely cut the light completely cut the light so many people want the light should be there in bottom and the sun must not get overexposed that's it so there comes the market filters like half with half nd half nd so half nd costs you more than full nd hmm that's a new one yeah and you can't do that and you can't replicate this with an hdr photo no 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 we can't do that's the problem what happens where this smoothness will be there na you can't replicate with hdr that's the problem like Smooth? with bracketing also you can't do that we can but the thing is again they can make out that's an editing they can make out fair enough see fair when enough. you produce a proper image through uh, your filters there something the satisfaction level is different and i will be a bit of a disinfluencer here when you're buying filters you don't have to go for the most expensive ones but uh, please don't buy amazon I'm basics don't buy amazon saying basics. here to not to go for expensive one but i am saying it kills our uh, money it kills our money because because of its uh, highest pay in the markets see what you know everyone won't be in tvs excel when they buy definitely they'll go for ayabuza also one day or else at least if they don't go for ayabuza at least we storm 250 at least they'll purchase yeah yeah exactly and the same whatever even for a uv filter don't buy amazon basics it's mm-hmm. cheap but no no Ma- and moreover people won't check the reliability of their cameras and they'll purchase first go and do r and d on your cameras what is compatible with your camera and what is not compatible with your cameras and then you purchase the nd filters i am recommending people yes no research is important research is very very important ah, yeah, yeah. that is more important for these kind of photography right as well as you're saying these costs add up you might think oh this one one filter is like 1500 rupees but then you start buying five or seven of them suddenly like they There add up no point in that so better that what you know one filter with uh, other uh, six kinds of uh, grills which they give the round yeah. plates which the, which it gives and which it supports for your camera uh, hood If you have twenty four twenty four one not five mm lens, yeah. Why do you go for uh, only one filter, which is round filter? Go for the square ND filter, which is good. They'll give you a set of ten uh, vari- various and en- various ND uh, this one alternates uh, where you can fit the same ND filter. You can fit on uh, every each and every lens. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a one-time expense. Yeah, but then one time it costs you like 10k. I hope if I'm not wrong. Now I'm going to very quickly ask. Equipment-wise, what else do you carry? Power bank. Obviously, a power bank. Obviously, power USB-C bank. USB-C power bank. Thankfully, it's been standardized for every every camera. Mostly, all cameras are now on USB-C. Yeah. What else? Mm. Equipment-wise, what do you keep with you? I keep uh, my DJ Osmo Action with me, which is GoPro kind of thing, because for uh, sometimes for vlogging or else some for, sometimes for time lapse. So what is that? Uh, DJ Osmo Action. What is that? Is Osmo that a Action video? is a GoPro kind of thing. DJI, oh, so it's a camera. It's a yeah, camera. camera, small camera, mm-hmm. where I'll be carrying, and a mic, which is from uh, Digitech, which, is, which costs you wireless, and for vlogging, it's good, and Aram say I can do vlogging wireless without any any kind of any stuff, and I can easily keep like this. If wired one comes now, I need to clip here, or else I need to, if it goes so far, and I can't talk, means my talk won't be audible for many things, so that won't happen with my... Uh, this Digitech one. is also an Indian brand, right? No, no, it's foreign, no, but no. collaborative, a collaborative life from India. They have a lot of very, very well-priced stuff on. They Amazon. are the market rulers in, yeah. when they come back to the point. And, and my bag is filled with one drone, which is from DJI India. And yeah. I recommend if people, uh, and if Indian brands comes up with uh, more beautiful than DJI, please go for Indian brand only. If not. Still, if you are purchasing before before that before that if nothing happened, just go for DJ only. DJ is recommended brand from my. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is a monopoly, but it's a monopoly for a reason. No, like not it. only monopoly. Actually, when you say other brands, they don't give you updates day to day. Day to day, parrot drone is there, and many other drone is there. I have not seen the updates regularly, but these people will be there with the up- upgrades. And also updates, and also mainly these people will be aircraft uh, concern. They'll be having your, air, air, uh, they'll be having concern on your aircraft. Uh, there'll be patch levels everywhere. There'll be patch levels, and they'll be improvising geosensing locations. Where are the airports again? Yeah, yeah. Every fifteen or twenty days, the updates will be regular for geosensing locations. That's very important. You don't want to be breaking the law. You don't even want to risk it. And it won't even. even on switch on switch over the places where the nearest airport is and if some people will do out of the out of fun many people will do many things and they'll caught they'll get caught and many things will happen so i i say and recommend people to not to take when there is no photo zone please don't go there and no drone zone please don't fly the drone that's what i can say people not the other other reason to go for dji right now at least is the camera quality is so much better like the cheaper brands, the cameras are just, the contrast is very poor. There might not even be 4K. Yeah. See, 4K, 15 FPS, then coming back to the point that's a way long better, you can go for GoPro 1, which is good. Don't go for that kind of thing. 4K, 30 FPS at least. At least yeah. make sure 30 FPS of 4K resolution. And uh, if more, then you go, please. And travel as wise you can. And yeah. see the, check the weather and check the... Uh, places time to visit time to visit will be there in every every place so time to visit will be the main reason when you are going to any any location from your location yes. uh, when you are going to bhopal when you are going to himachal when you are going to some other location himachal is best to see in every season everyone says but i recommend in september because there will be no snowfall no snowfall and there will be quite sunny which is good for your body. Also, vitamin D will be no issue for you people, whoever it may be. And you will get adjust to the nature. That's what I can say. Yeah. If you're a regular visitor for Himachal Pradesh, then I'm not talking over anything. Oh, yeah, then they would know better. No, no, but just it. I'm saying. Perfect. I think that's a good spot to end. We've covered a lot of topics today. Yeah. A lot of ground. Thank you so much, Aritya. Thank this you. Been- Thanks a lot. And Jai Hind today. Yeah, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. Thank you. Thanks for watching everyone. You are either seeing this on YouTube or listening to us on Spotify. Yeah. Follow us and see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.